So recently you were on a pop, what is it? Pop balloon or pop. what is it called? Pop the balloon. Find or what is it called? really find love or pop a balloon. Wait. Pop the balloon or find love. Pop the balloon or find love. That's what it's called. So uh, let's rewind to the beginning. Like I said, you were on there. You kind of went viral on a few clips from that. So let's start from the beginning of the experience. Like, how does one even get invited to one of those pop the balloon or find loves? Um, you show interest. You show interest. Um, just like any other, you know. Um, so that's what there. happened with you. You had to like. Yeah, get... I was just like, hey, I want to, you know, be casted. I'm interested in finding love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because... Yeah, why you laugh? <laughs> hey, listen. Because when I did it, honestly, like, I did it as a joke. Yeah. Like, and I, I mean, of course, I mean, I did it to be funny. I wanted the experience. I was like, you know what? I wonder if they're going to go in on me or if I'm going to go in, like, because I just know my personality. But, and I feel like sometimes men will lie to you if, you know, you're texting or whatever. I'm like, I want to know what they would say about me on spot. Mm -hmm. So I did it as a joke. Like, I wanted to experience, like, okay. So, so that was why you went on as a joke? Yeah. Why did you go on? As a joke. Okay. Like, I wanted to be, I was just being funny. Okay. I really didn't go. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to even say that, but. So do you think you really could find love on nah. one of the pop the balloon things? No. No? In my, it, that's just my opinion. <clears throat> I feel like it's deeper than that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you can't find love. But people be walking off into the sunset after they partner but up. But that too many people. But I mean, I don't know how much you watch it. Too many people don't go past the first date. Mm. Or yeah, know, I've never watched or heard of what happens beyond. Yeah, that. I mean, it is a couple that actually got engaged on there. From what I up. see, um, but that's a rarity. Rarity, yeah. exactly. I, I, Out of nineteen episodes, you have you know what twenty episodes you have yeah. one. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I personally would. I don't think I could find real because I'm just low no. key and I think that's just too, I don't know. But I, I don't think I would go on one of those. If I did, it would only be for like branding and marketing purposes. You just took it out of my mouth. That I didn't want to say that, yeah. you know, it's because- cool. it's, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure majority of people, like perfect example, oh boy, the second dude on the episode that you did with the suit and the yes, joint. Yes, but I didn't not... want to come off like that because I really wanted to actually participate in this. Yeah, of course. You're you not just going to say, hey, I'm just here. I'm just here for so marketing trying to brand purposes. myself, yeah. you know. But, of but, course, no one's going to say I, that. And the funny part is, I knew I was going to go viral. Like, mm. how, did, how no, did you know? Ain't no girl like me on there. Like, not on no arrogant anything. What but do you mean, a girl like you? I just feel like my caliber of women. What caliber is that? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just, I, listen, I'm. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I got to watch what I say, you know? <laughs> I mean, because, you know, people can perceive things any kind of way. Um, Talk to me, M-O-B. Uh, I got to watch what I say. Oh, my God. Um, I just don't think, um, one, like, for me, just being a certain, a fair skin, um, I feel like people automatically, you know, judge you off a certain way, like that pretty girl, or whatever. And it's just like, oh, you know, there's a pretty girl. I knew, not saying none of the girls wasn't pretty or mm -hmm. anything, because all the girls I think was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I don't know, I just knew I was going to go viral. And I think on, on another reason why I knew I was going to go viral, it was just the, the stuff I said, like about my culture. And it's, I don't know how to explain. I just knew I was going to go viral. Okay, you had a feeling. I had a, a feeling. I, right. like I, I, the only way I can explain it is I have not seen a chick like me on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. So one of the so there was one of the clip that I seen of you on TikTok uh, that did go viral actually was you popped a balloon. You were actually, you want to know something? You probably already know this. You were the very first person to pop a pop. balloon on a whole, I mean, off bucks. Soon as the episode started, soon as I don't know if dude even made it in frame, no, you yeah. popped the balloon. But see, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that, like, none of the guys was my interest. But, mm -hmm. you know, I was just like, I came in there with a my, mindset to of it, to participate. Make it entertaining. Exactly. Yeah. So I was just like, and my homegirl's like, my homegirl's there. She's she like, you better not pop your balloon again. I'm like, bitch, they're not like, like, yeah. you know, my Still, type. But I, she was like, no, per, you say exactly. you're going to participate, exactly. so fucking participate. Exactly. I was like, okay, she right. Yeah. But if you watch the whole thing, you will see, like, I zoned out most of the time. So uh -huh. I'm holding on to the balloon. Uh -huh. Like, that episode um, with the guy was, you know, 
when I, I actually even said that, I'm like, oh shit, I zoned out. Mm -hmm. But it's live and yeah, you mentioned you I was like, was, I was trying to hear what you were saying. Yeah, like yeah. You, if you watch it, I said it like three times. Mm -hmm. I was trying to hear what they said. I was trying mm -hmm. to hear what they said because I really was. I was there physically, mm -hmm. but mentally, I tapped out as soon as they walked in because I'm like, not my type. Mm -hmm. But I also said in the beginning, like I'm trying to stir away from looking at the physical of a guy and actually, you know, getting to know them mm -hmm. and kind of getting to know what they have to offer because. Physical is important to me. Yeah, that's what you like, say. That's yeah, first. Very you. important. That's, yeah. You said earlier. That's first. Physical yeah. is first. So personality. That's why second. I was popping the first. Like uh, in the beginning, you see, I was the first girl. Yeah. Pop, pop. Like hell yeah. no, pop. But yeah. I was just like, no, you are gonna, you know, participate. You said you're not looking at the physical. Give them a chance to actually even talk and let you have a chance to talk. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. But and we're also told, like you know, um, the host tells us, don't just say, oh, he's not my type. She's not my type. Mm -hmm. Why is he not your type? Why is she not your type? So I was just following the game. Like, I'm like, okay, right. he's not my type because I don't like his physical. I don't right. like his hairline. Yeah. I don't, it, I know it sounds petty, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm not attracted to. So if you would approach me in real life, you wouldn't approach me. Mm -hmm. I would have just looked at you and looked at you, you mm -hmm. know, like walked away from you or I might have laughed it off and kept it pushing. Right. So to me, it was just like, okay, she asked us to say what we don't like. So mm -hmm. if he would have approached me in real life, I would have looked at him and be like, in my mind, I might have, I might have said the things I did say, like that nigga hairline messed up. Mm -hmm. Like you not about, to, I'm not about to give you my number type yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? So I was just playing the game. Yeah. So okay, let's start with the first part, the hair part, which threw you off because you're someone that. Works with hair yeah. a lot, so you really pay attention to detail when detail. it comes. I'm to hair. very detailed. So the dude, I can't remember what he looked like. What was it about his hair that you didn't like? Was the first it? guy, yeah. or which one, or the, the one that went one, viral? The very first one that you did. Yeah, I think that was the same one. The first. No, one that, that one didn't go viral. No, not the one where you said his hair. The first one where you was like, oh, the first one. Yeah. It was just his hairline. His hairline. I actually thought he was, you know, decent looking. Mm -hmm. It was just, I was just like, and then his hair wasn't done. I'm like, damn, you didn't put no oil, no mm -hmm. moisturizer. Yeah, there. that's like, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah that's the I was one I'm like, thinking of. Uh, sir, first your hair. I mean, your hairline. We can work with that because there's ways to fix things. You know what I'm saying? So, do, okay, so if a dude has a jacked up hairline, would you prefer him to? Fix it up, shimmy it up with whether it's Beijing or him go to Turkey or shave it off and rock the baldy. Yeah, all of that. Which like one? what whichever one he, okay. you know what I'm saying, comfortable with. I actually when when we were talking about earlier about fumbling, man, yeah. um it was a guy like I was dating before. He was great guy, amazing guy, everything. I couldn't get past his hairline. Mm. And he always wore a hat. Yeah. Lord I pray he don't see this. It's cool. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm the reason I'm asking is I'm bald. Yeah, I have okay. a baldy, but I came to realization with my shit. I yeah, think you when, have to. Yeah, I think when dudes and me, I be joking, but I tell dudes when they try to uh, put the Beijing, Beijing, I be like, "Yo, join the club, brother!" Like, just da, da, da. go bald. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know and, what I'm saying? and I just think that's the thing that women don't like when people, dudes try to hang on. Yeah, you. Some people hang on, yeah. and and I wasn't even being funny like with him. Like I would approach it, like you know. I think he, like I said, he always wore his hats, and mm -hmm. I hated that. We'll go on a date, and I'm like, yeah. I like to dress up, so I yeah. and I like to keep, I carry myself a certain way. So I'm yeah. like, nigga, take the fucking hat. Yeah, on. the ball and the plus, like dressing up the bald head makes it so much sharper. Yeah. So one thing with me that I always do, especially like usually when a when a woman meets me, I meet a woman for the first time. I'm usually have my baldy out anyway. Like I wear it out a lot now. When I first shaved my head, I had the hat on for a whole year. I'm not gonna lie for a whole 365 Why? days because it's it's something that it's, you it's never experienced. Right. Okay. Like okay. you're cold behind your ears now. You feel every gust yeah, of wind everything. that you're like, what the fuck? Ain't nothing wrong with cold? the bald head though. Yeah. Well, it's see, not. we don't realize that at first. Yeah. At least for me, I'm speaking for me. I didn't yeah. realize that at first. Now, what made me get comfortable with taking off my hat is the amount of grown ass woman that would say I was handsome. Yeah, it looks nice. And that shit was like, oh, okay, so this joint, yeah. And like I said, grown woman. I went bald at 23. This woman 30 plus. I've never, you know what I'm saying? At 23, that's crazy. I shaved it at 23. Is, that, is it hereditary? I think so, because, all right, so I learned this in biology. <laughs> I don't need to laugh. No, you you good because I'm comfortable with it now. <laughs> I would take my head off now, but I ain't, I ain't shaving in two days. So it's a little, shit, my brother went bald at 20. God. Yeah, geez. but here's the thing. So baldness. Your hairline like, had to be jacked up. Well, like, mine, was it, like, it wasn't. I could have went till okay. 24, but okay. I had a little bit in the, I had the middle joint too. So I had the bird's nest. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what really did it for you, Miriam. Listen, <laughs> I play football, right? 
And my joint was leading me. And I'm me. laughing because I deal with so yo, many guys. I'm that, laughing with you, yo. I'm no, laughing because with, I deal with so many guys that have your issues and yeah. they just don't want to shave that's, it off. And, that's and it saying. turns me off, yeah, though. You yeah. know, no, I'm no, like, no, no, get no, rid no. of this shit. I didn't want to at first. I probably could have won another year, but it would have looked crazy. It would have, uh, George it Jefferson. Crazy. Yeah. So I'm in college, right? I'm playing football and my shit is starting to leave me <laughs> and I'm sick. So one day I'm meeting with my football coach, my defense coach. Shout out to Coach Sewell over at Morgan State now. He coached at Bowie State at the time. I'm outside of his office, right? You know, college students, we'd be tired. So I'm outside of his office waiting for him for a meeting. So I'm like this in my, in my lap waiting for him. <laughs> my head down. I'm like taking a little you nap or whatever, picture. right? He walks by. He's like, hey, man, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. No, seriously. That was the best thing I could have ever heard. Like, just um, let it go. Yeah, so I was 22 at the time. I turned 23 a few months later, and I'm getting my hair cut. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm about to be 23. Jordan, yeah, Jordan, look, shave it. <laughs> and, and I shaved you it. You had a good I, excuse. And I, and I never, exactly. Ain't that the Jordan, best, right? Yeah, I said, Jordan, yeah, Jordan, look. They be like, yeah. And I never looked back since. But like I said, I wore it for a whole year, but then I got comfortable with it. And I realized the power of being confident with confident yeah. with a body. It takes a lot of confidence. And I and I get it, you know what I'm saying? And even when I said about his hairline, I was like, in my mind, like, damn, Marion, why you say that? Because. Did you tell, oh, you talking about on the show? No, I haven't talked to him since then. Like, the but I, in my mind, I was like, no, no, the dude I tell, I couldn't tell him. You didn't tell him? No, mm. it was hard. And I think mm. that show kind of challenged me because it was like, mm. it allowed me to just, and that's why I wanted to go on because I wanted to see, you know, how people perceive me too. So I was just like, because in real life, I might have not just bluntly came out and said it, you know, like. Why didn't you tell the dude that you were uh, dating? Well, I said it in a discreet way. I'm like, you know, he. <laughs> He got he he went and got his hair done. Well, you know he got a haircut, uh -huh. and then he came, you know, to the date with his hat on. And I'm like, you just got your haircut. Let me see the fresh yeah, cut. You yeah, looking good? Yeah, like, why are you hiding yeah. it? So I'm hyped because yeah. when the guy gets his fresh cut, he want to show it off. You outside, right. so right. he came with a hat. I'm like, I know he don't have this hat on still. Like, yeah. I'm like, let me see your cut. Yeah. So I don't. You don't have a hat, but he did this. Oh. <laughs> I was like. I was like, I know you lying. I'm like, no, let me. I'm like, I did not see it. I'm like, come on. Like, yeah. I couldn't see that. So he finally, you know, lifted up, but he still put it back down. Yeah. And I was just like, why are you wearing a hat? You just got to, you know. Um, did you ever see him without the hat? No. Oh. But we we start talking about like when we're having conversations, I would, you know, kind of bring in stuff about Turkey mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I might make jokes. So I'm like, you was I'm like so yeah. And I'm like, man, look at these. I'm like, look at this. I'll send it to him. I'm like, yeah. it's crazy that they be doing this type of stuff. Like without directly saying it. The and he was like, yeah. yeah, I might go over there too. You know, um, what you think about that? I'm like, shoot, you know, it might look nice. I said, otherwise, you know, I feel like if people have that issue, just shave it off. Yeah. But I would throw out hints. Yeah, like subtle. I literally, cause Instagram, it'll pop up. I'm like, look at this man wig. Yeah. Like these people are crazy. Why not just go get it fixed? Right. Without me directly saying it to him. Yeah. You know, and him taking it offensive, mm. but he just... I think certain things like that, you just, even though it may sting at first, they say the truth first, but it sets you free. Yeah. What's up, y'all? And thanks for checking out this Day by Day podcast clip. You can do one of two things. You can either check out another clip from the interview, or you can go ahead and check out the full interview itself by clicking on one of the two options provided on the screen. And if you haven't done so, make sure that you subscribe. Thanks.